Richmond um, and what happened to them, but what's the takeout for Melbourne on the flip side? Yeah, well, it was really you know positive result for us. We are uh, you know two in a row now, and uh, you know we've come off a couple of, couple of good wins, and boys are pretty happy. We feel like we're playing some 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 good football, and you know looking to carry it on in in coming weeks. We've seen with this group in the past, with all due respect, that sometimes can get a bit happy with how things are going and then we see a sudden turnaround the week after. Um, obviously two wins in a row now. How determined are you and what are you doing to make sure you stay focused going into this week? Yeah, the playing group and, and the leaders uh, understand that you know, there, there is the opportunity for, for the group to get complacent. You know, Winning isn't something, certainly since I've been at the club and we do have a young, young list where winning has has come around often um, and probably throughout the NAB Cup we, we played some good football and won you know, throughout the NAB and, and then won round one. So there was, there was an opportunity where guys had, had won a few in the row and uh, in a row and, and maybe there's opportunity there for, for guys to get complacent and, and it, we saw what happens when, when that happens. Um, so w thankfully that Essendon game was a bit of a learning curve and we understand that we can't drop our guard for one second because it's quite competitive. We'll start favourites this weekend at Eddie Had. I mean, the favourite tag, as Matt said, hasn't sat well with you guys over the journey. Um, what did you learn out of that Essendon match that you can put into practice? Yeah, I think it's just we can't drop our guard. We know our best football is uh, is up there with, with the best in, in the competition. Um, but when we don't bring it, anyone can beat us. It's, it's such a competitive comp, comp at the moment where any team can beat any team. And... Uh, we've just got to make sure we, we come in with the same focus and, and same mindset as we have uh, in the last two weeks and we feel like we'll, we can get the job done. This harder edge, Melbourne, I mean, this whole notion of flying the flag, um, we saw that when you went to Rance um, in the last quarter. What was going through your mind then and uh, what did you say to Alex Rance? Oh, I'm just, I'm just enjoying playing at the moment and uh, the guys are, I guess, playing on the edge. Uh, there's times when we might we might go a bit too far and you know like like on the weekend you know Tommy Bug you know coming out and uh, I, guess, I guess apologising for for some of the things he did but you know I'm really enjoying how we're playing our football at the moment we're playing on the edge and we're playing competitively and uh, we're standing up for our mates um, and that's the team I want to be involved on in and uh, you know love that side of football. You obviously Jack? saw the Rants incident on Watsy. What went through your mind in those few seconds? Yeah, I think I was the only one to see it first, first hand. Uh, and I just thought I'd go in and, and back up my mate, and then I was uh, a bit knackered from, from the wrestle, and then everyone must have seen it on the replay and, and joined back in, but I was knackered at that stage. So, um, yeah, I just, just saw it first hand, and yeah, my instincts just took over a little bit and just jumped in there. And you instantly obviously recognised that was a pretty low act. Yeah, I saw it, and it's something that we don't want to see in our game. And I think you know Alex has really come out and, and um, addressed that. It's not something that is out of character for him, and you know he's a great, great person. So it was just something I saw on the day, and I'm you know you're not used to seeing. It's something that shouldn't be in our game. So I just addressed it, addressed it when I saw it. Yeah. How many times has um, Christian Prochaka been into Ruzi's office, beating down the door, trying to get into the side this week? Yeah, a few, a few. He's a very excitable character and someone who's extremely eager to get out uh, and, and debut. Um, but the club's done a terrific job and just, just um, it's curbing his expectations a little bit. Um, you know, we've got a really, we've got players who are playing really well and as much as I want him in the team, it's hard to t take someone out of the team for him. So it's a terrific problem to have. Um, I'm sure Christian will find himself playing quite soon, but... It's just, yeah, everyone's playing, playing really well and it's hard to take something out of the team at the moment. Something the club's lacked over the last few years has been a red-hot rival. Now, it feels like you might have that again with Richmond. I know a couple of years ago in the Tommy Hafey match, you guys upset them then, and it's a bit of feeling on Sunday. Do you feel like they are your arch rivals? Do you feel like there's something, you know, s special there? Or? Um, not, not necessarily, to be honest. I feel like, um, you know, the brand of football we played against Richmond on the weekend was was consistent with how we've been playing most of our football this year and throughout the NAB, NAB Cup. So I think that's just hopefully what we're going to bring um, week in, week out. But there has been some close games with Richmond over the years, um, you know, Anzac Eve last year as well, and also the, the Hafey game. So it just, I think it just turns out that we, we're playing, um, you know, pretty close football and pretty, pretty good games of footy against each other. 
What have you made of your own form, mate? Because you've got 30 touches in each of the three wins and you've been close to best on in all three. Yeah, I feel like I'm going going okay at the moment. Um, I still feel like I've got some improved or a lot of improvement to make. Um, whilst I, I feel like I, my form has been okay, I, I, I want to see it be consistent throughout the year. You know, we're quite early, and um, you know, I'd really like that to to maintain for the rest of the year. Are you, Do you doing feel like better than you thought you would be at this point in the year? Um, oh, I certainly think I'm capable of playing the football I am at the moment. Um, probably the consistency is what I'm really trying to achieve um, and something that I, I don't feel like I, you know, I'm going to be able to dish up that, those performances every week at the moment. So whilst I feel like I'm capable of playing that kind of football, um, consistency is the one thing that I really want to um, really work hard on and, and try and make it yeah, a, a full year kind of kind of thing. Do you feel a responsibility on your shoulders? Do you feel like you need to have a good game for Melbourne to get up? Not really, to be honest with you. I, I feel like the system we've got in place and the football we're playing, you know, a lot of guys are in, you know, arguably career best form. I just think it's the system we're playing. Um, you know, you, we see guys coming in like uh, you know Josh Wagner and Jaden Hunt, and they're playing to a really high level. Um, so I just feel like the system we've got in place at the moment is allowing you know a lot of people to play well, um, and then that yeah takes the expectations off, off um, you know the leader's shoulders to, to perform. Who else would you put in that career best bracket? Oh, I think Dom Tyson's playing terrific um, footy at the moment. Uh, Max Gorn, mm. you know, it's been well, um, you know, publicised. He's playing playing really well. Uh, Dean Kent's playing extremely well. Ben Kennedy's playing very well. So I could keep going. I just feel like. The system we're playing is allowing guys to really shine um, and, and play some good football. All of a sudden people are talking that Melbourne could be a top eight finish. What clicked for you this year? What's made the team suddenly come together and improve? Yeah, I think it's just hard work to be honest with you. Like o over the pre-season we, we worked really hard on, on a lot, lot of areas of our game and probably try and make a you know, more complete game style. And it's just just coming together. You know, we put it into practice in the NAB Cup and and got some good results. And and the boys just got you know a bit of confidence, belief out of what we've been training actually does work. And then we we try and bring it game day um, throughout the season. Is finals realistic or is it a pipe dream? I don't I don't see why it's not achievable if we keep playing how we're playing. We've still got a lot of levels to go, and you know the competition's in really good nick at the moment. Uh, it's really competitive. Um, so I feel like if we can, you know, like individuals form in the in the team, if we can keep that team consistent, consistently performing how we are. I don't think it's unrealistic that we find ourselves, you know, finals for the end of the year. What about the poor Eddie had record? Is it uh, a, a hoodoo that weighs on a young group's mind, or are they too fresh to to worry about that? The the hoodoos don't really uh, come into our mindset. Whatsoever, we just take it week by week. No matter where we're playing, we we want to come to the game uh, with with our match you know, intensity, uh, mindset to to perform, and we, we know we'll get the job done. Jack, just one on Jack Watts, if I can. I mean, how nice is it to see him play with such freedom and and with a big smile on his face as well? Yeah, terrific. You know, I don't know too many blokes who've had a, a harder time uh, in, throughout their career. Um, in terms of scrutiny, so to see him finally getting some reward for his hard work is is terrific, and he you know deserves you know, every bit of credit that he is getting at the moment.